Hello, YouTubers. I wanted to get back with you and share the, um, the I guess, the third part of my SEI video. I um, worked this last weekend on um, doing some pages from the kit. If you want to see the kit before I got started, it was part one of the SEI videos. Um, I finished 12 pages now. Actually, I finished them yesterday, but didn't get a chance to do a video. And so I just want to share these with you, um, knowing that you're not going to be able to see really the full beauty of them, uh, but you can see the papers um, and how beautiful they were in the, I think the first video showed that really well. Each of these is a two-page spread, but I just didn't like the camera layout when I was trying to show both pages because you couldn't see as much. So I'm just going to show it page by page. So here's the first page. And like I said in my first video, I'm going to put these in page protectors and save them. And when I have, when I want to do some scrapbooking or have some pictures that I need to put on some pages, um, this, these will be the ones I'm going to pull from because they're all coordinating. So like if we have a, a big Easter celebration or um, spring thing, um, I can just go and the pages are all done and I can um, make as many pages. I can put these pictures on the pages, but also I'll show you at the end what I have left for making more pages where it'll all coordinate. So here's the first page. I love the lilac paper. I can't wait for my lilacs. I have a long, steep driveway that is rimmed with uh, lilacs. They're just getting ready to bloom. Really nice crocheted doily, uh, or crocheted flower with the doily. So that's page one of that spread. And then here is page two of that spread. Just really pretty, bright, vibrant colors, and yet still really springy. This is one where I think you would choose just a really special picture. I mean, you could add other pictures, but this would be one of those pages that would be good for just one special picture. And then you've got the other side of this um, spread that where you could add several other pictures and still not take away from the other page that has just the one special one. So real bright, colorful, springy. This one, I wasn't sure I was going to like it once I did it. I really liked it. it the kit came with the um, hexagons and with these um, strips. And I wasn't sure how they were going to use them in the kit, but they actually used them to make a chevron pattern that actually carries over, let me see if I can show you, to the both pages. Um, so that was interesting. That's another reason I like SEI is it teaches you some new techniques, things that you maybe wouldn't normally do. Um, the other thing is there was a canvas, you know, mesh um, fabric sheet and it had you cut a strip and gather it and I made that into a flower which is really cool. And so here's the second page of that spread. Just waiting for some pictures. You put two pictures there and you know maybe even some smaller ones off to the side. Again, here's the flower that I made. But this one's real girly. It's a girly page. I'll use it for one of my girl grandkids. Okay, and the second page to that is this here. This we actually made a pocket here. You can actually put um, photos, you know, on the outside, and then there's a tag with some beads for doing. It looks really plain now, but you have to just imagine that there's going to be pictures on there. There's another thing in the pocket. 
this one's really neat. Definitely for um, some of my Easter pictures that I just took. It had out of a uh, part of a doily, it had you make like a carrot and some strips from paper. So I thought this was really cute. And here's the clear flower um, with the brad in the center. And then here's the mesh strip again where you just did a little decorative uh, line that ties into the next page. So here's the following page. Again, here's the decorative strip. And I've added, you've got to imagine that there's going to be pictures there um, that will tie it all together instead of just random hexagons on the page. And here they had us make a little bow out of the, the mesh, um, lace printed mesh strip. And that looks really good. You know, and if I sat down with all this stuff and was going to make pages, these probably aren't the pages I would make. Um, but it's real interesting that when it, when I do it, it comes all together and it's, it's beautiful. Um, th let me show you, these are the last two pages and see how the page carries over from one to the next. Um, but here's, this is a beautiful page. I love these, these colors, the coral. Um, use some more of the beads there. Uh, a bigger crochet flower, the kind of like corduroy brad, um, really cute. And the last page for that spread, again tying everything together. And um, here's uh, where I actually cut leaves out of the the mesh, and that really makes a cute effect. Um, okay, so. Again, I wanted you to remind you that it came, the kit comes each month, every other month, with this uh, four page color instructions, step by step, which are easy to follow. And then this is what I have left. After I've done um, 12 pages, again, that cost about $32 shipped. This is, this is everything I have left. And I will keep this together until I've used all the pages that I've already completed because if I want to add or make more pages, then I'll be able to do that very quickly with coordinating papers and use, maybe add some cardstock um, base and use all of these up in, in additional pages when I need additional pages. And then once that's done, I can just inter intersperse this with my, my SEI paper um, storage. So here's all the um, little die cut shapes, the perforated sheets, some flowers I had left, some doilies I had left. I probably had three or four doilies left. There's some beads left. Um, there's basically some of everything. There's another flower there left. So um, of the embellishments, this is what's left. And then these are all the paper strips um, because the back is printed. Um, so I keep all those because you never know when you're gonna wanna use those on a page. I use several of them on the 12 pages that I did. And then this is all that's left. So I've got all these papers I can pull from that coordinate for additional pages. And there's actually still quite a bit of the um, the mesh, um, lace mesh, um, that are left too, and some really, there's two or three really big pieces left, and there's actually three whole double-sided pages that I have not touched. So, those can also be used for making additional pages. So I wanted to share that with you. Um, if, if you like what you've seen, I would you know, encourage you to go to um, SEI, um, their website and look into their kits. Uh, they're just beautiful and if you're not interested in kits they sell their papers and stuff separately and it's absolutely just beautiful. Thank you.